we have a pretty adventurous day. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, care or not, but um, I have a travel type of vehicle. We have a spare car that I use to travel around. AKA the pimp van. And the brakes are shot. So we get to do that today. Look at that beast. So, doing the brakes on that, possibly some racing and testing tonight, and then some working on the hockey again. Pro parts. I just hit my head. That was really embarrassing. But we have pro parts now. Got to get a brake light and brake pads for a Honda. All right, so we are at 215 Cortland Street, which is the new headquarters of uh, Chris Tucci's Corvettes and Customs. So I didn't actually do like the walk around or anything. So I figured help out Pops a little bit. <clears throat> we'll do a little walk around and just talk about some of the stuff that's in here quick. But um, at this vet, he did a uh, suspension and uh, brakes and uh, wheels on it. And then it's a full Resto Mod GTL. New top. Look over here, car needs some glass, so take care of that. So, all suspension stuff on this, right? All suspension on this. And then, what year is this truck? And then actually, uh, Truck cab. cab over. Cab over, sorry. Full restoration on that too. So come here and need any work on a classic car, anywhere from 80s and older pretty much. Uh, you can do new stuff too, like nitrous kits and procharger stuff, but mostly specialize in the in the older stuff. Um, come here. 215 Portland Street. back up and pull in. You want to move the GT up, GTO up a little bit or no? Yeah, Alright, so. Get to pull the van in. This is boring. But, so, this van, the only reason why we actually have to take care of it is this is the van that, uh, you know, I sell skinny sauce out of. Um, this is the van that I pretty much take anywhere up and down the northeast. That's like less than six, seven hours. This is what I take. So this is pretty much the the vehicle for Tucci Racing. Um, if you guys have ever seen us in person before, we drive this junk Honda for that reason. But but uh, sorry, I thought I was gonna slam into something. But yeah, gotta take care of the vehicle that gets us everywhere. All right, so we're gonna do this NASCAR style. Just taking them off. Just taking them off, though. So he's gonna time me taking him off, and I'm gonna time him taking him off. Pretty bad, huh? No more pad left. <laughs> this one ain't that bad. Just kidding, it's really bad. Get the last two, you hit the last one free, you gotta hit stop. Right, hold on one second, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Eleven thirty. Ah, <laughs> All right. Another one. Shot. Finito. We done with this boring ass job. 
cat lady. Yeah. Yeah, nice. See this door bar? See, we don't generally need this because we have a chassis. Yeah. But that's a double frame. That's what I want to do, just like this. Lower. Yeah. But this goes all the way out. We're going to go all the way up to there. Training will be just like that. You know what I mean? I want to show them the old days. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right there. You go. There you go. On that whole wall, too. Yeah. Look. That was that was fun days. Yeah. The first pass ever with that car. I did 1169 with a four speed. I'm noticing the third pedal in there. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, I built it. I'm putting a, Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We're gonna put a Liberty. Liberty. Song? Yeah. That's what we're looking to do with the Monty. <laughs> Probably start with a G. Bad nothing but fucking. Yeah, my brother's Monty. Brother's Monty. Yeah. yeah, but now the car's built for. When we were kids, we put a four speed in and just broke the rear end anyhow. Yeah, so we're lower than a man. The funny thing is, it's just minutes before you got here, I got a text from my renter. This fucking car is outrageous. Who built this? Is this? 19s, right? Who built this? <laughs> yeah, it's a killer. Oh, it's, uh... Anyway, I got, a, I got a text from my from tenants in Florida. Yeah, yeah and no, I got a switch, we got wipers, we got the spoiler down there, we got a little bit of uh, I don't know if it's something that Sean can take care of, but that seat is starting to, where the where the um, harness goes through. Right. You can see it on this side, where you sit. It's starting to come apart. Really? Yeah, Sean could do it. Uh, we're we're going to meet there Tuesday. You know, so that comes down to, okay, how much is that going to cost? Right. No, listen, every, listen Which, everything uh, there's a cost, but then, right? when he, but then when he starts saying that, oh, I, I think I have to put a new... Um, Suede loof roof liner. Come on, you should have. myself, okay, am I gonna have my paper? Your problem was I welded it. 
Yeah, now I lost the uh, hook, but we'll try. So it's heating up the metal and then you touch the rod onto it. Yeah, and then it melts it and then a lot like grease, but yeah, I never used that before. I've seen it, but I didn't know. Really yeah. Tell your hands in a way. Now it's pretty good. It is a good. So we had company. I wanted to show a lot of this stuff, but we had company here. It was kind of weird, but uh, just a recap of what we did the past two hours. Uh, I showed you a little bit of welding and stuff like that. So this is a new cross member. We had a little bit of a gap. I don't know if I showed you that in the last video, but there was a little bit of a gap. We got warped a little bit, so we had to get a new cross member. Um, and instead of tacking it in uh, with the MIG, uh, we decided to just, you know, start welding it. Start TIG welding it. And then everything, this is really the first TIG stuff that we've been doing. So we have this bar getting taken in a little bit, just enough that it stays and all that. Um, here's the old cross member bar. That was out. That's pretty much it, probably for tonight, for the build. Um, you might see some stuff in here, some testing, I don't really know yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it in here or not, so I'll probably just throw this out and never see this, but um, that's what we got so far. How can I begin? So, started off going to the shop today. A huge, <laughs> huge car day today, uh, all around. But now we are on our way for some testing. Um, that's what we're gonna do. I brought the big boy camera with me in case there's a race. So on our way to go do that. Lance.
back. Oh, yeah. It's fucking big and heavy, man. It's heavy as hell. The fuck? The street car. Nobody believes me. I don't see nothing. Yo, yo, is that rubbing on? Yeah, no, it's, I it's think rubbing it's rubbing, on something. dude. It's rubbing right here on the yeah, end. Look at that. It's like fucking it's like fucking rubbing on it. It's the other side? Okay. So it's definitely this side. Yeah.
Chevelle for the win.